Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most underrated skills and concepts in basketball, cutting and off-ball movement. We're going to look at this from an individual perspective first with Shakira Austin of the Washington Mystics. She's one of the most elite cutters throughout the WNBA in terms of points per possession, effective field goal percentage, and it's really cool to see in film what she does that makes her so successful. So now let's look at the film and break down her off-ball movement. So the first thing with any cut is the ability to read the defense. So in these clips, you can see the defense either commits or turns their head and she takes full advantage, diving in behind the helper, behind wherever her defender goes and going, making herself available. But you'll see here in this clip, her defender helps to go to the ball side. She breaks behind the defense, gets the layup. Another clip here of the same type of an example. She's on the baseline. Her defender goes in to help on the post and she cracks behind the defense to get the easy layup. This ability to read the defense, see where their eyes are and take advantage of those weak times in a defensive possession allows you as a cutter to find these opportunities and be successful. Next is availability. So once you read the defense and get an opportunity to get to the rim, making yourself available is the next step. You'll see she does a great job at having her hands out, calling for the ball, being ready to on the catch to go make a play. This ability just to have your hands out, be ready to catch it and then go make a play. The catch is such a vital part because a lot of players move and try to do things before the catch. So having your hands ready and available allows you to catch it and then go make a play happen deep in the paint. And then the last part of this is control. So once you read the defense, get yourself available for the catch, you catch it, and you have to have the control to make a play. Whether that means catching going up right away, being able to catch it, land on two, play off of pivots, ball fakes, and putting the ball on the ground, just having the ability and body control, ball control, and just overall skill and understanding to read a situation and make the most of your cut to catch it in space and make a smart, under control decision with the ball in your hands. Now to switch gears and go to the team side of cutting, let's look at the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets are one of the best cutting teams in the NBA, ranking top five in all categories. They have a great passer, Nikola Jokic, under coach Mike Malone, and there's so many things they do well, so let's dive into the film and break it down a little bit. We're going to do this by going into different types of cuts seen throughout their offense. First, Baseline cracks and cuts were huge in terms of their offensive spacing and flow, especially out of post touches, the backside, weak side, four man or whoever was in the corner did a great job at coming in and making big time plays off of the porch and finding those baseline cracks. The thing that I really liked was in post up situations, they get it on the block and the weak side porch knew and understood when the defense turned their head, made themselves available, caught the ball and made plays deep in the paint. The ability to read that help side, especially off of a guy like Nikola Jokic who can make a pass anywhere on the floor, was incredibly successful for guys like Jeff Green and Eric Gordon to play off the ball and be consistent off-ball threats. Now let's talk about 45 cut. A 45 cut is a cut coming from the weak side wing or slot area that's a 45 degree angle to the hoop. It typically was an automatic in terms of when there was a baseline drive and the weak side 45 would come in and cut hard toward the rim. It would typically be a curved cut to get to the middle of the paint and go make a play with either direction. But there were also instances in which it was not an automatic. It was more of a read where the defense turned their head and they just went and made a play. Like that play right there against Cleveland. This play right here against Minnesota is another example. It's a loose ball and Jeff Green just cuts down the 45 and makes a play. The ability by the three and four men on the floor to always be active, always be smart, and go make plays out of the 45. And now split actions were a huge part of Denver's offense with a guy like Nikola Jokic as the playmaker. It puts two guys in a situation together that is random, and they just play off of each other, whether it turns into a pin and curl, whether that turns into a rejection to the baseline and the other guy goes to the rim. Just the randomness of two guys coming together and splitting off each other and playing toward the rim. It is an off-ball movement in which there's two guys coming together, so it's a lot harder guard and you have to communicate highly. It's a really good cut to be able to use in any offense. 
Now to dive into more of the randomness within Denver's offense, when Nikola Jokic had the ball at the elbows or in the middle of the floor, there was a lot of just movement off the ball, whether that meant 45 and fill Euro cuts, or that meant splits or a get, or just a basic bastic cut for the next man in the offense, just to always have movement, always have some type of happening in the offense around a great passer like Nikola Jokic that can always take advantage of openings. At the end of the day, when it comes to being a successful cutting team, there needs to be an element of freedom and randomness. In a lot of these offensive clips, yes, there are automatics in terms of the baseline cuts and the 45s and different things like that, splitting off the elbow. But to be successful, you have to be able to read the defense, cut to the open area and make smart under control decisions in these spots. Going back to Shakira Austin, being able to first read the defense, second make yourself available, and third be under control is a huge part of all the skill sets of all these players in Denver and is why they can be so successful on a night-to-night -night basis in terms of cutting and playing off each other. Cutting might not be the most sexy or fun part of basketball, but it is an essential part to be a successful offense. I hope this video shed some light on what it takes to be an individually great cutter and also a great cutting team. For more basketball content, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.